Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we are continuing the semantic analysis. Yesterday in the video I have introduced uh, what is syntax directed translation. Okay, before uh, having a recap, first we see what is semantic analyzer. What is the role of semantic analyzer? Semantic analyzer takes parse tree as input and it produces annotated parse tree as output. What is annotated parse tree? It is nothing but a decorated parse tree. The actual parse tree is further furnished with some useful information which helps the compiler to translate the programming language. So this annotated parse tree itself is one of the intermediate code form and further it helps the compiler for intermediate code generation. Okay, what is SDT? Syntax Directed Translation. The translation of the syntax or the translation of the programming language is based on the syntax. Okay, yesterday we say we see we saw what is SDD also. Syntax directed definition. What is syntax directed definition? In short, we can remember like this: context-free grammar plus semantic rule. What is semantic rule? Every production rule is further explained with the help of the attribute. Okay, there are two types of attribute synthesized attribute and inherited attribute in the previous video we have seen this example syntax directed definition for expression grammar this is the expression grammar which is available on the left hand side on the right hand side we have a semantic rule so for every production rule there is a semantic rule so how the semantic rule is written for every non-terminal there is an attribute associated with it. Every non-terminal is further explained with the help of the attribute. So for every production rule, there is a semantic rule. For every variable or non-terminal, there is an attribute called value associated with it. Look into the last rule. F takes a value from the digit value. And this digit value is presumed to be supplied by the lexical analyzer. Okay, look into this rule. T derives T star F. Since there are two T, in order to differentiate, this is uh, further uh, written with a subscript 1. So, the product of value of T1 and the value of F is being assigned as a value of T. So, the semantic rule is given like this. T dot value is equal to t dot value into f dot value so likewise for every production rule semantic rules are written this is sdd syntax directed definition for the expression grammar okay now question may come like this give sdd and draw annotated parse tree for the following this is an expression right expression means we should have an expression grammar then only for the expression grammar, we can uh, draw the parse tree. So already we have seen SDD for the expression grammar, the correspondingly semantic rules. So first thing, what do we need to do is for the given expression, we have to construct the parse tree as per the grammar. So let us draw the parse tree. The root of the parse tree is L. It can be expanded as EN. Now, this E can be replaced by T. T can be replaced by T star F. This T is replaced by F. This F is replaced by E with parenthesis. Then further, this E can be replaced by E plus T. This E is replaced by T. This T is replaced by F. F is replaced by digit. Similarly, this T is replaced by F and F is replaced by digit. This F is replaced by digit. Alright, so we have drawn the parse tree for the given expression. This digit is nothing but 3. Uh, this digit is 4 and this digit value is 10. Okay, now we have constructed the parse tree. So, this is the output of the syntax analyzer or the parser. 
and this sparse tree is being given as input to the semantic analyzer. Semantic analyzer has to generate the annotated parse tree. Annotated parse tree is nothing but the given parse tree is decorated with some useful information. So how this parse tree is being converted into annotated parse tree? Now this parse tree, you remember, it will be converted into annotated parse tree by performing post order traversal. Post order traversal. So what is post order traversal? Post order traversal means a left node is to be evaluated, then root, then right. Isn't it? So this parse tree is also to be traversed in the same order, left, root and right. So let us assume that the semantic analyzer starts traversing this parse tree from the root. So if it starts traversing from the root, from L it visits E, from E it visits T, then this T, F, this parenthesis, then continuing to visit here, visit here, it visits F, then from here it visits digit. Now it goes up, right? Now, after visiting the left node, it is moving towards the root. So when it is moving towards the root, you see the direction also you observe. Now the digit is reduced to F. Now parse tree is ready for reduction. When it is moving in the upward direction, the reductions are happening. So when the digit is reduced to F, what is the corresponding action to be take place? So always remember whenever there is a uh, reduction, the semantic rule or the semantic action takes place. Now the digit is reduced to F. The corresponding semantic action is this digit value is being assigned as value of F. So let me write it here. The value of F is 3. Now further continue to traverse. Now when it is moving in the upward direction, F is reduced to T. So the value of T is nothing but this value of F continue to traverse in this direction. Now the value of E is nothing but this value of T which is equal to 3. Now it visits the node plus. After visiting the node E, it visits a node plus and comes down. The traversal is coming down. T, F, then again it visits digit and moves in the upward direction. Now digit is reduced to F. So the value of F is nothing but the digit value which is 4. Continue to move in the up. So the value of t is nothing but the value of f which is 4. Right? Now continue to move and visits this node e. What is this node e? In fact, it was expanded as e plus t. It means now e plus t is reduced to e. Whenever e plus t is reduced to e, the corresponding semantic action is the value of e must be added with the value of t and is assigned to e. So what is the value of e at this junction? It is nothing but 3 plus 4 which is equal to 7. Now continue to traverse. When it traverses, you see this parenthesis is already visited. This e is also visited. Now it visited this Closing parenthesis and then moved to F. So, F derives E. Now, this E is reduced to F. So, accordingly, F takes a value of this E which is 7. Further moves up. Now, F is reduced to T. So, the value of T is nothing but value of F which is 7. Then it visits this multiplication operator. Then it comes down. Now, f takes the value of digit, which is equal to 10. Now, continue to traverse. Okay, now, what is the value of t at this point? Now, t star f is reduced to t. Isn't it? So, what is the value of t star f? It is nothing but t dot value into f dot value should be assigned to this node. 
so which is equal to 70 now further it moves to this e e takes the value of t which is 70 then it visits this n now this e n is reduced to e whenever e n is reduced to l sorry it is l l takes a value of this e which is 70 so this is how we need to draw the annotated pass tree if you remember you can observe that this pass tree is visited in the post order traversal order first the leftmost node then the root node then the right whenever the reduction happens the time the corresponding semantic action takes place by the way we have drawn the annotated pass tree and this pass tree is also evaluated i hope you have understood this example in the similar manner you can try other example please try this example and let me know whether you are getting the answer i'll give an expression here 3 plus 4 into 5 n i hope this expression is available in the textbook also you can refer to the textbook thank you